I have a portion of scripture I want to read, but first I want to give uh, Tom an opportunity just to share. He said he wanted 30 to 35 minutes, but you know, we made it into seconds, so brother, if you would. I just wanted, to, first of all, to say how much I'm thankful for this body, for what this body has done for me and my family. Just a little bit of my story. I grew up in the church. Uh, God gave me such a blessed life. I don't remember the first time I went to church. I've known the Lord for a long time. And as a sinner, I think I let that become an entitlement and kind of lost focus of it. And, you know, when you think something's an entitlement that's owed to you, you're kind of the one in control. And... Thank God for his spirit and his wonderful way of reminding me that he is in control and that I can finally stop trying to be so stubborn and I just thank the Lord that through his spirit and his word, he's uh, finally nudged me enough to allow him to have control of my heart and I just ask that this body I ask that you guys would hold me accountable and my family and I never thought we'd be here I never thought I'd be doing this five years ago but I'm so thankful for every day over the last four years for this body and I, I'll never say it enough to thank God for what he's done and I just uh, really appreciate what he's done for my family and for bringing us here. <laughs> and Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, Lord, we wish to walk in obedience to you. And as this brother enters into this water, there's nothing magical about the water. Nothing mystical happening here. But Lord, it is profound because it's a step in obedience to you and to your word. And Father, the fact that you have worked so powerfully in Tom's part. And Lord, I do thank you for the anchors and their presence in this fellowship. And I thank you, Lord, for how you are producing a godly dad and husband in this family. And so, I pray for your blessing on this day, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, Tom. Let's get wet. <laughs> Daddy? <I know. laughs> you want to take her in there with you? <laughs> Dude, come here. <laughs> so, you want to grab your nose with your right hand and then grab your wrist with your left hand. That makes a handle for me, okay? You ready? You guys ready? <laughs> well, Tom, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>
I am struck a little bit by what Dan just prayed. And Father, him walking in obedience like this is such a testimony to his kids. And I pray, Father, that this would have a lasting impact, not only on Tom, but on each one of these little people as well. And God, would you go before this family now and lead them in a path that would display your glory to everyone around them. And God, that men and women, boys and girls, would be drawn to Christ because of this short little event that happened here this morning. And for your praise and glory, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to start second service in about 10 minutes.